Hey Mary, how are you doing? Hi Carl, how are you? You wanted to see me about something? Yes. So I'm looking at the report. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're are you not gonna be able to make the quarter for this year? What's um, going on? Um, we've been trying our best, but some of the numbers you forecast, they're just so high, you know, like and we've been being cut on our hours and workers. So it's hard to reach those numbers like you guys said for us. Don't try, okay? Do your best. The, able, the reason why you're able to put overtime is because we have cut down on many people and you can connect, okay? Uh, well, what about the auditors? Like, we have the auditors and, you know, they catch what we're doing, you know. Don't we, worry about the auditors. You do your job, okay? Okay. I want, the, I want you with those numbers and I want you to have a job. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Have a good holiday. Mary? Yes. Hi. I'm Mike from uh, Los Adams. Nice I'm the audit senior here, and I'll be actually doing the audit for you guys this year. Oh, how was it? Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for having me for my short notice. Oh, anytime. Sure. So, you are here for the audit? Yeah, so before we start the audit, I just had a couple of things I wanted to go over, especially inventory. I know the prior years we had some difficulties getting the numbers, so this year uh, I'm actually working on it. And if it was okay with you, could we get some personal documentation about how you guys are reporting your end year inventory? Of course. And then uh, one more request. Uh, tomorrow, I have set some time aside so that I could go physically onto the Walmart uh, site and see how your employees are counting inventory. Is that okay with you? Of course, sir. We're talking about 12 to 3? Yeah, it should only take only a couple hours. That's actually a great time. And. Um, can I get the documentation uh, possibly tomorrow so I can start on it immediately? Of course. Uh, feel free to send me an email. I don't know if you have my business card. Um, I have your email, so okay. we'll stay in contact with your email. That'll be perfect. Okay. And is there anything I can get you right now? Your coffee? Uh, that'll be great. Thank you so much uh, for seeing my short notice, and I'll see you soon, guys. Okay. All right. You Thank you so much. One, two, three, four, eight, nine. <clears throat> yeah, come in. Hey, how's it going? Good, how about yourself? What can I do for you? I'm not sure if Mary told um, uh, Mike from Moss Adams, the audience. Moss, Moss Adams? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So I don't know if you could touch up the speed, but I'm just here to just do, you can do your work, but I'm going to just see how you count the inventory, and Ooh, okay. I'm going to just get a couple of notes, you know? That's the watch me. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll be out of your way. No, no problem. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, where was I? Uh, uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. Actually, I have a seven on the count. Oh, no, no, it's, it's nine. We're good. This is how you've been doing in the last couple of years? Uh, your yeah, yeah we've, we've been doing this for a long time. Trust, it's, it's nine. We're good, trust me. Uh, can I ask another question? How do you guys uh, maintain your internal controls uh, at Walmart with your inventory? Because you're, you have a large volume of inventory. So how do you guys keep track of it? And internal like, controls? Yeah, we have lots of those. We do a great job. Oh, don't worry, you can take my word for it. We, you know, we strive for, for great ethics here. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm probably just going to use the remainder of time to just look at the inventory and okay. uh, be out of your way. So, yeah. uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Come in. Hey, Donna, thank you for seeing me on hey, bye. Yeah, it's such a short notice, but uh, I've been very concerned lately, and you know how our audit's been going on, and it's about the inventory, like, I looked at my numbers again, I know you said you'd take care of it. Are you talking about Walmart again? Yeah, like, this is a big issue, like, they're... I told you I'd handle it. I know, but they're overstating their revenue. This is going to hurt our investors. We're going to lose our clients, eventually, our reputations on the line. Don't you, don't you, like, think that's important? Look, I understand that you're concerned, but there is nothing for you to be concerned about, okay? I told you I'd handle it. I had a lot on my plate, but I will get to it, I promise, all right? I've trusted you, honestly, but our audit's about to end, and it's my reputation online, too, and if you're not going to do anything about it, I have to go to someone else that will do something. So I'm Really? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to go to the SEC and let them know. So the SEC? Can, yeah, so they can do an investigation. This is Ridiculous. one of my obligations I have to do, so... Do what you have to do, Mike. Okay. Hello?
throat. Hey Mike, uh, from Moss Adams you said? Okay, so uh, let me get this uh, straight here. So Walmart's overstating their, uh, their what you do? Their inventory. And uh, it's called Moss Adams is the, uh, the firm that's looking over this. I see, so they're not doing anything about it. And uh, you're blowing the whistle. Was that here? Oh, Walmart's a pretty big client. Sure, is, they're not looking over it. Um, do you have all your facts down? Uh, evidence to uh, back up your claim? Okay. Okay. Uh, here's my uh, email. My email is. Uh, Marty Page at the SEC dot com or dot gov, my bad. Ooh, wow, this is a big one. Did you say Moss Adams? Yes, sir. Who's the CFO? It's uh, Donna. Donna? Donna. Donna. Oh, what were you saying? Go ahead. Well, uh, we're having a, a problem here where uh, Walmart's inflating their inventory. Are you talking to me? Oh, they're in They're what? Walmart? You know, you know how big Walmart is? What do you do? You have proof of any of this, or you just yes, wasting my time? I have a bunch of paperwork and uh, evidence over here. Uh, what do you got? This is just drawings. What are you even showing me? All right, all right. Why don't we do this? I'll take this from you. I'll call Donna. We'll get to work. I like working with Donna. We'll get to work, and uh, why don't you? Go ahead and take care of yourself, and you, know, you can see yourself out. All right. All right. Don't bother me anymore. Dr. Harvey, keep going. Hello. Oh, hey, Donna. How are you? Good. Good. What are you doing? Oh, really? What are you wearing tonight? What? Hang on, not you. What do you want? How do I say? I'll talk to you later. I don't have time for this. What do you want? Hey, Mr. Harvey. Say that again? Did you say Mr.? I told you Dr. Dr. Harvey. I'm sorry, Dr. Harvey. Dr. Very well, um, so did you ever follow through with that Moss Adams and Walmart case? What do you think? What do you think? Well, we're supposed to follow through with this case. Are you worrying? Didn't I tell you not to worry? Yes. Are you worrying? In case I was into. What? This was a case I Are you still walking. here? I thought you would have been gone by now. You're wasting my time. What do you want? Yeah, but you're not doing a job right here, Harvey. I'm not. What? You're not doing a job right here. Say that again. Not doing job right. I'm not doing my job right. Get out of here. You're what? 
Donna. Hey, Kurt. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Nice seeing you. Thanks. And what can I do for you? So it's actually coming over to make sure we're still on for tonight. Of course we are. No, I haven't forgotten. I'm going to take a seat right over here. All right. Also, uh, how's that Walmart case coming? Walmart case? You know I take care of my business. Don't worry about it. I said we're good. All right. Sounds um, good. Well, while you're here, why don't we get up for a dance? I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. After all, you're the major key to my heart. Aww. guys thanks for watching our video i hope you enjoyed it we had a lot of fun making it so i hope that that showed in our video what i want to do now is kind of fill in all the details that might have been missed by going over our assumptions for the case our analysis and our recommendations so first of all our assumptions this case is completely made up so therefore all the assumptions that we're making um, are realistic because we just made up all the details anyway so first of all, we're assuming that Walmart is misrepresenting their financial statements. That's part of the problem. That's why this is considered a fraud. Um, we are also assuming that uh, there was proper communication between channels. So for example, Mike reported the fraud to his boss, Donna. Marty at the SEC reported the fraud to his boss, Harvey. So those co communication channels were intact, those were proper, but there was no action taken by the bosses. So that was uh, one of our assumptions. We all are also assuming that Walmart has weak internal controls. That's what's allowing this fraud to happen and this inventory channel stuffing to happen. Um, we are assuming that there was proper professional skepticism by Mike um, from Moss Adams, but the professional judgment of Donna to let the case slide because Walmart is a big client was um, improper. And then finally, we are assuming that the channel stuffing and misrepresentation of inventory is material, which is why it's considered a fraud. So those are all of our assumptions, and next we're going to go into our, our analysis. So for our analysis, we applied three different sections. We applied um, individual and organizational leadership, uh, three ethical theories in the, the AICPA professional code of conduct. So for the leadership, um, the tone at the top at the SEC and at Moss Adams is corrupted. And those individuals who are also at the top um, have individual leadership that is corrupted. So according to the ethical dissonance model, um, the organizational fit for Mike and Marty is low high because the organizations that they're in have low ethical standards and Mike and Marty both have high ethical standards. And then for Donna and Harvey, the organizational fit is low low because Donna and Harvey both have low organizational or ethical standards and they're also in an unethical organization. So that creates an unethical climate in both situations, which can lead to corruption. For our ethical theories, we applied utilitarianism, which is the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Under this theory, the um, if Marty were to blow the whistle on his boss, Harvey, and report it to someone higher up, then that would cause him some harm, but that harm would be outweighed by the um, harm to the public if he did not blow the whistle. So under this theory, then Marty should blow the whistle on his boss. However, under egoism, um, whistleblowing would actually cause Marty a lot of harm. So it's possible that he should not blow the whistle in order to protect himself. 
However, if he does not blow the whistle, then Harvey may want Marty to do unethical things in the future, and he may be unsatisfied with his job, may want to quit, or along those lines. So under this situation, it's difficult to say whether whistleblowing is um, the ethical choice under egoism. So finally, Wright's theory is that um, we have a duty to protect the public right, and under this theory, Marty should blow the whistle on um, his boss on the fraud of Walmart because we are protecting the public interest at hand. Finally, for the AICPA Professional Code of Conduct, um, there are four different uh, codes code of conducts that were corrupted in this case. Um, the public interest is at, har as, is at stake here, obviously, because investors are investing in Walmart, the customers are buying from Walmart, and really they're not properly representing their financial statements. Um, the integrity of Donna and Harvey are both corrupted because they have conflicts of interest. Um, which also goes into their objectivity and independence. So because they are not independent, that corrupts their integrity. And then finally, um, Donna and Harvey are not exercising proper due care in this case. So that is our analysis. And next we're going to move on to our recommendations. Okay, so finally our recommendations for this case. Our group decided that Marty should blow the whistle blow the whistle on his boss and either report it to someone higher up at the SEC or possibly an outside party. We thought that Marty should blow the whistle because um, Mike blew the whistle and reported it to the SEC. So Mike did his job. He did his professional um, due care. However, if Marty lets this go, then all of that will be for nothing. So he should definitely blow the whistle and um, inform whoever it is that Donna and Harvey have a relationship, their independence is impaired, Harvey is an abusive boss, and that Walmart is having the, reporting this fraud. So what about Mike? What happened to Mike was that he was pretty much fired for whistleblowing. He was isolated at first and then he wasn't given any good jobs and eventually they fired him for poor performance. So he has a whistleblowing case on his hands. So he could ultimately sue Moss Adams for, and receive compensation for this case. He will have to outweigh the pros and cons of doing this though because Going to trial is costly and it could take a lot of time, money, and he may not want to go through all of that. But if he does, then he'll receive some compensation. Finally, Donna and Harvey, um, they both acted unethically in this case and they broke multiple professional standards. So they really need to consider another profession because they obviously do not want to protect the public interest and they've lost sight of that as they've gone along. So they need to get a new job. And probably what's going to happen is if their cases go to trial, then they're going to have to testify and they may be found guilty for negligence. So they may be facing some con serious consequences for these actions. Um, altogether, that's our recommendations for this case. Again, I hope you liked our video and thank you very much.